Sell your possessions and give alms. Provide yourselves with purses that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The saint we celebrate today, Saint Peter Nolasco, was willing not only to sell his possessions, but even his very self, for the ransom of Christian captives. St. Peter was born in France in 1189, and inspired by Our Lady, he founded the Order of Our Lady of Mercy for the Redemption of Captives, also known as the Mercedarians. Its members were bound by a special vow to employ all of their substance for the redemption of Christian captives from the Muslims, and if necessary, even to remain in captivity in their place. Today's gospel tells us to provide yourselves with purses that do not grow old, with a treasure in the heavens that does not fail, where no thief approaches and no moth destroys. And this is precisely what the saints have in mind as they live in this world. They go through this world with eternity constantly before their eyes. Their feet are on earth, but their hearts are in heaven. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. We should keep in mind the reward of the saints in eternity, the glory given to them here on earth, for example, by means of this liturgy that we celebrate in honor of St. Peter, is just a mere reflection of the glory that they enjoy in heaven. St. Peter secured his treasure in heaven by means of his labors here on earth. By means of the tribulations he endured, he polished those precious stones that adorn his heavenly crown. Whoever desires true glory must not seek the kind which is enjoyed already in this life. So we should ask ourselves, are our desires comparable to the desires of the saints, to St. Peter in Alaska? He desired to live a life of complete and total generosity in the service of God and for his neighbor's sake. And what about us? Are we consumed with worry over purses that grow old and treasures that moth destroys? May St. Peter intercede for us and obtain us the grace to follow in his footsteps. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit.